also you can do some fancy things on the edges of envelopes. Here's a little fancy edge on that envelope here. And all you need to do is make sure that you have two rulers. Here's a, here's a um, two two inch rulers. I've actually put one on top of the other one and um, you're going to take your you're going to take your envelope and you're going to line it up and use your line on this on your cutting mat and you're going to take the wave blade. This is why I have to have two rulers because it won't go against the the edge without the wave blade. I mean with the wave blade it'll catch on the edge of the ruler. So don't try to use a one layer ruler and use this wave blade. And then there's other blades that you can also get that are fancy. And um, so those are ideas for that. And now let's see about the shapes. Now we have all kinds of ideas that we can do. We fussy cutted um, the poinsettia so that we had a pretty uh, design for Christmas. And then you can also just make some little hearts just cut out some hearts like I showed you, folding it in half, and put the hearts like a little flower, and then just draw on the stem, uh, and then put some a little extra here behind to make it pop. And so what else can you use? You can use uh, different kinds of fabric where you are actually um, using both the top and the bottom, but you can also use a, a die cut machine. Now this is a die cut machine, the only, I'm not sure if all die cut machines will cut through fabric and paper. You leave your fusible web on, you put the fusible web on the fabric first, and then you take and fuse it to the paper. Uh, after you put it through the die cut machine. So here's the same design, you just move it around a little bit differently. So here's a, a satin that I did, but when you put it through the die cut, you're gonna already have all that fusi fusing on it, and it works really well. But make sure that your die cut machine will cut fabric. There is, I, I don't know if there's just one or not, but uh, there is one, the Sissix will cut fa uh, fabric, through fabric. Uh, and then here is the idea to put it on the card. Just take your little rotary blade that was wavy and cut both sides. And then just put a strip across the card and have it match this. And that makes it really great. So what else can we do with um, cards? I had so many things to show you, I don't know if I'm going to have time. But here is how I did the, um, the, di the um, lace and the, the glitter. So what, what you want to do is put this peel and stick tape down. And like I said, this stuff really does stick. So take it off by layers and put this down as you go and hold it taut and as you go lay it all the way up and then once you get it off then you're going to cut off the very edge so that it's straight so do you see where I cut off the edge and then I'm going to grab my scissors here and then I'm going to cut off the extra right there along the outside edge and I'm going to I didn't cut all this off because I wanted to show you. And then you can lay this lace over the very top of the edge. Okay, so now you have this sticky behind your lace. And what I'm going to do now, I'm not even really ready, but I'm going to show you how you just lay this down all over and all the places that this hits will grab and stay on the glue. And that basically is how I made 
the ones with the glitter there. I just covered it, saturated it with glitter, and then once you, you get that off, it's all covered and all the sticky is then put the glitter, it's glitter instead of sticky. And uh, that's a really cool, like an anniversary or wedding. Oh, that's really a cool way to uh, razzle dazzle somebody.